Greetings, everyone. Welcome to the further adventures of Dr. Death, the fourth, the fourth, the fourth, the fourth, <laughs> the fourth. Ah, oh, chronic sufferer of damp leg. Oh, my goodness. Just my left leg. What did I like urinate down my left leg? How the hell did just my left leg get damp? <laughs> huh. I guess I, uh, I, I, I sweat specifically on the left side. Huh, all right, whatever. Um, what else we got going on? We got too much torso encumbrance. 67. Uh, too many bags? Probably too many bags. Yeah, probably too many bags. I'm sure that's probably what's going on. So, hey, look, we got zombies. Zombies. Near an evac shelter. No big deal. All right, so, uh, yeah, hey, everybody. I'm Morbid Rex. This is Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. We are going to play this game. Hey there, Trixie Bender. Howdy, howdy. Thanks for the resub. Welcome back. Poor Dr. Death the Third. No, that's, uh, if you... <laughs> that was a terrible death. That was a terrible, terrible death. It does happen. It's been a little while since I had one that bad. Been a little while. At least I space them out a bit before I, I devolve into mind-numbing stupidity and uh, get myself killed. Um, yeah. So, we're on to the, uh, the fourth. Uh, we're a little ways in. We have a vehicle. We've done a little bit of traveling. How much traveling have we done? We've, uh, we've done this much traveling. Uh, I mean, it seemed like a good idea at the time when we were moving. I guess that's where we started, right up there. Uh, yeah, we, we, we just kept trying to f kind of following <laughs> the, the pathways. We got all sorts of different directions we could go. We're kind of stuck where we're at. I was hoping to get to the Zvex shelter, and um, it's occupied. I don't want to deal with them, so we're just going to leave again. Uh, maybe, maybe I'll come over here and try to get up to the cabin to see if we can get anything there. I remember there was a, a body site here with some stuff that it would be nice to scoop up. But only if I can do it with the minimum of danger. Otherwise, we've got to scoot back out past the mansion and come over this way and see if we can get to this road network. I think my map, yeah, my map ends, so who knows what's over there. And we'll go back north if we have to. Uh, I'm a little sad. We got two libraries, finally, libraries. But they're a little deep into the city at this stage for this character. And uh, another library. Three libraries. And a bookstore. <laughs> they put them all in this town, apparently. Uh, if we can approach it from this direction, maybe we can get to that library at some point. But uh, without the vision advantages of the goggles we had last time, or the moonlight bonus from the full moon, we are definitely not going to try that. Not with this character. Only recent good news is we got the mace. We got a mace. Yay, mace. And a great helm, I guess. We got a mace. Hey, look, we've also got a duffel bag, a dive bag, a backpack. <laughs> yeah, too much, too much, too much baggage. Too much baggage. We'll have to unload the dive bag and then uh, dump both of these, probably. Didn't I get a leather backpack also? It might be probably in the storage. We'll see. We'll drive away from these guys first. All right, let's, uh, let's go ahead and get moving. Let's get some, some actual gameplay going. We. So, do I want to try to get over to that cabin? A little dangerous. I really, really, really don't like forests. Almost get to the road. Almost. How close is that almost? Um, not too bad. I might be able to do a little right through there. If I just knock out a few of these bushes, I can definitely avoid the trees and the rocks. Hmm, is it worth doing that? I don't know that it's worth doing that. I might walk that way just to get me over the road fairly quickly. Ah, right, let's uh, stop here for a second. I need to check a few things and re re uh, rejigger some uh, some inventory. 
So, unload, dive bag, where did it go? Backpack, backpack, cool. Drop, dive bag. I'm gonna leave the duffel bag temporarily because we're about to go looting. Get rid of... Don't need the bat if we have the mace. Don't need the pot. Don't need the food. Need a million cash cards. <laughs> of course. Of course zombie dog is spotted. Right up in the forest I was about to walk through and he sees me and he's coming for me. Well, look at that. Okay, a little rude. Finish what I was trying to do here. Postums and solder. All right, we'll have to unload that and get rid of that. All right. Um, other than that, we're in pretty good standard clothes. We've got hiking boots, leg guards, leather pants, leather duster, hard chest guard, great helm. So we got some some protection on the important bits. I'm okay clothes. We're looking at 41 for torso because we've got that extra bag mostly. 49 for the head. Ouch. Ouch. Terrible reaction score modifier. <laughs> Fall damage modifier. Hmm. Yeah, the associated negatives with that head encumbrance is pretty rough nowadays. Yeah, that's that's for air conditioning. Uh, believe it or not, if you missed it, a feral threw a rock at me and shattered the frame and dropped the uh, the frame and the associated parts out of this space. This, this is courtesy of a feral throwing a rock. <laughs> he even managed to hit me for damage. He destroyed the frame and the uh, the attendant parts, and the rock actually, actually hit me. <laughs> so, yeah, watch out for them ferals. Oh, let's see. So, now I'm less inclined to want to go to that cabin. Now that I know there's, there's not usually just one zombie dog. So, uh, probably we should keep moving. Let me double check what we've got laying around, though. So, inventory personal. we got the basic tools. We're still missing a few. We've got the hammer, screwdriver set. Uh, I don't have the hacksaw. I don't have the wrench. So, it's still really early on this run. Um, Yeah, uh, so what do we got? We got a welding tank, bow saw, so we can take down trees. Pot to cook in. Pickaxe. Uh, oh, we do have the wrench. We got the socket wrench set. That has, uh, yep, two bolt turning, one fine bolt turning. That'll work. So we do have that. Um, so it's just a hacksaw we're missing out of the very basic tools. We do have a le two leather backpacks. Hot diggity. I should probably swap that out. I like the leather. Well, I what is it? Has anybody noticed? Is it just me or has anybody noticed recently? And, and it's probably me. I almost never take damage to my, my storage gear anymore. I don't know when that started. It, it just occurred to me it, to sometime in the last stream. I, it, I went, wow, I don't remember really having problems with having to replace backpacks. Used to be constantly. They'd get shredded off of me and, and I'd have problems. I don't know if it's because, you know, my normal avoid, avoid, avoid mindset or, or what, but 
I just don't remember really having a problem switching out backpacks anymore. They're better since the material upgrade? How would that work? All the materials really downgraded and provide almost no protection anymore. Bash 2, Cut 2.5, Ballistic 2. I mean, they're all still made out of canvas and, and things like that. The leather is going to be a little better, but... I don't know. It just feels like I haven't really had to worry about it all that much in quite a long time compared to how it used to be. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, it's probably just me. Hmm. No, it has nothing to do with snake style. <laughs> when I'm making these comments, I mean over the last 500 hours of gameplay. <laughs> I don't mean uh, just the last, uh, you know, five or ten. I just don't remember recently uh, having much of a problem. It used to just be a constant thing where I would, I would give me these would be getting shredded regularly. That really hasn't been a big thing lately. I'm probably misremembering. <clears throat> At this point, my cataclysm play in my memory is just one giant amorphous blob of generalizations. <laughs> it's almost impossible for me to form solid, distinct, specific memories anymore. There's just so much crammed into my poor cranium. Uh, it just gets all muddied really, really quickly. I'm lucky to remember last stream's specifics. Alright. <clears throat> Let's get out of here. I guess we'll go down and we'll see if maybe I can scoop up the goodies at that site. I remember drugs. And I remember... Uh, uh, an electronic hack, which I don't care about. But. There were also some 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 bad things, some very bad things. This car puts out a lot of smoke. So, are the zombies gonna play with the uh, the interdimensional travelers for me? I think they are. Let's see if we can grab a few things real quick. Definitely want to get to there. I forget all of the um, the medicines that can be used. Um, cocaine is not on the list. Heroin is on the list. Painkillers plus heroin. Any of the almost any of the anti well not all the antis antidepressant and it's the middle one that's the trouble antidepressant antipsychotic fast acting sedative prescription stimulant sleeping pills poppy poppy sleep or pink tabs no I don't think any of that other than poppy sleep can actually be crafted by the player but it's that middle category for the medical sample recipe that's going to be the real pain in the ass the first and the third ones no problems that middle one that's going to suck. I'm almost going to be have to be raiding prescription or raiding pharmacies to get this stuff in any kind of bulk. That or I got to start grabbing a poppy right away. Hmm. Hmm. All right, so I don't need the coca. I need the heroin. heroin. There's some heroin. I don't need meth either apparently. I thought I did. Unless there are, maybe there's other recipes I need them for, but uh, not for medical samples at least. All right, um, so uh. I'm gonna grab it up anyway, just in case. I don't know. Maybe uh, I'll have to check the recipe stuff. Iron sights. Uh, what else we got? There's the electro hack, of course. And leg guards. We've already got leg guards. I mean, they could get damaged, but we'll probably run across to more.
All right, let's get out of here. Okay, delete the note. Don't need it anymore. I noticed there's another uh, another hunting lodge over here. <laughs> uh, the memories. The memories! Ah, we attracted the zombies. I was hoping to maybe... Maybe get a look into that house, but uh, and that feral just saw me. I was also checking to hope see if we could get some gasoline. Oh, there is some gasoline. Can we get it siphoned and get out of here before that guy comes to bother me? We're not sticking around here. Too populated. Double zombies with double hit points in the daylight with a brand new fresh character. No. <laughs> Just say no. Hey there, mansion. We already been there and done that. We got an acceptable amount of goodies out of the trip. Plus we got to see a bunch of wasps murderize a bunch of zombies. It was great. For those that missed the uh, previous episode, I'll try to get up here and show you the carnage without getting murdered by wasps myself. Oh yeah, look at that carnage. <laughs> ah, that's what happens when you bring a mansion with double zombies up to a wasp nest. They even took down the, uh, the dissolute devourer. It's glorious. Unfortunately, loot on all this stuff is pretty, pretty terrible. Pretty terrible. Not much that I care about in here. I don't think anything new's been added to the, the loot list. Nah. They didn't kill anything fun. No goggles. So we're not gonna we're not gonna stick around. Too easy for me to get killed. It's a good time though. It's a good time. Uh oh, a lone F in the middle of a big field. Could it be? Could it be? Oh, it is! <laughs> it's always suspicious, that lone F sitting in the middle of a field. Hey there. Uh, do, do, do. So, this could be distorted lab vent. Maybe, possibly, maybe. <laughs> The vent part, yes, but uh, whether it's a distorted lab for certain, we don't know. We are absolutely not going in there right now. No, 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 we're not going in there. <laughs> no, no, not going to happen. It would be nice to get an activity suit on this character. I'm not sure if medical, does medical have any mutations that would uh, forego or cancel the ability to wear an activity suit? I haven't done medical in so, so long. Wasps and Krakens? Or Krakens? What do we got? Stout, an inhaler, hot rod, chassis, and suspension. That's a pretty good, what, mechanics book? Diver's Watch is fun. That's it. That is all the things. Hey, there's Batelier. Thanks very much for dropping some gift subs. Really appreciate that. Medical is one of the ones that fits all the uh, normal armor. No blocking mutations. Q. Q. Hey, get away from me, you stupid thing. Ah, it's still going to come after me. 
Uh oh, zombie dog treat time! Alright, let's do that before anything else happens here. Everybody be careful. Turn away in horror! That zombie dog devouring flesh. zombie dog okay yeah we're, we're doing uh, medical not because you know it's the cool thing that all the kids do it's we're doing it because I haven't done it in a while and it kind of fit the theme that I wanted to do so <laughs> I'm aware it's not the best of the mutation trees I don't generally do the best of things ah uh, whoops got my got my screen on uh, the wrong part here how do I get this game? Can't seem to find it. Well, that's because it's its own thing. It's not on Steam or anything, because it's absolutely completely free. You get it. Uh, I'll link it, because you guys, most of you guys won't be able to link it. I mean, if you just type Cataclysm DDA into any search engine, I'm not sure how you could not find it. <laughs> it takes you right to the website, and uh, there is a downloads section you can click on. CataclysmDDA.org <clears throat> but yeah, it's completely free, so it's not on uh, Git or, well, I mean, it sort of is, but uh, for the development part, but um, it's not on uh, Steam or any of those places. Yeah, and there's launchers. <clears throat> you can't link unless you got the special tag. Any link you guys try to put in is just going to show asterisks for the other people. It'll look like it goes through on your side, but it won't. Have I done a Bugman run? What what's a Bugman run? Well, let me first preface this by anytime you you ask me regarding Cataclysm, have you ever? <laughs> the chances are 99.9% yes, I have in all of these variations. So, just be aware if if you're new to the channel. <laughs> We're working on somewhere around, I don't know, I may have passed 5,000 hours at this point. I'm not real sure. I got like 100 and, I don't know, we passed 100 challenges quite a while back. I, I lost track of how many challenges I've done, so. But, yeah, lots of ways to, to play the game, lots of ways to uh, to get the game, install the game, keep the game up to date. A lot of things to know. It is a complicated game, be aware. It's complicated. Go away, stupid things! Or come over here and bother this 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 wasp tower. Because once again, we have wasps in the tower. Hey, get away from me, wasps! Get away! All right, he's he's now moved away. I can go get the stuff I wanted. All right, where are the things I care about? I want that. All right, it's up there. And wasn't there one other thing? Oh yeah, the dive watch. Yeah, of course, it's completely separated. Do, do, do. Let's see. Goodbye. Hmm. Goodbye, book. Goodbye, toastums. Goodbye, wristwatch. Wear the dive watch. Why do I want the diver's watch, you ask? <clears throat> because it's cooler. And because it has a th thermometer. <laughs> it has a digital thermometer. So now we can tell exactly how warm it is. Ooh, gives us an azimuth as well. Wow, fancy. Where's my, where's my temperature indicator? Where's my thermometer? Hmm... Must be a part of the uh, the interface I don't have turned on right now. Yeah, whatever. I never care about that anyway. <laughs> All right, so let's keep moving. So once again, we have a wasp tower that we can't use. Uh, it's either we go north into this area and try to get here and such, or we go south and see if we have a break in this forest that gets us to here. Although we do have road access, so we're, we're guaranteed to get to this road network. So let's just go there. We'll go south, check out the uh, the horse farm. 
It's actually a good spot for us to settle down for a little bit so I can uh, get some healing done. Insect mutation run? Um, insect, insect. There are a number of the mutations I've never pursued. There are a number of... Uh, I've gotten most of the bionics at one point or another. But yeah, there there are probably I probably only covered maybe half of the total mutation lines. Most of them I just have no interest in whatsoever. <clears throat> They're all just slight variations on the same things over and over again. Uh, but no, I don't think I, if I have done an insect run, I don't remember doing an insect run specifically. I've done some of the crazier ones and then a few theme versioned ones, and that's about it. I'm still waiting on them to put pig in the game. I want a poor sign mutation. That way I can do the man bear pig run. I have not yet been able to achieve the man bear pig run. <clears throat> and yes. Yes, that is a reference. Only people of uh, fine culture will, will get that reference. <laughs> All right, what do we got? Usually not much going on at the horse farm. Ooh, we got a possible solar vehicle we can maybe take advantage of. We'll get some coyotes. Let's take a look at the vehicle. Uh, do, do, do. How you doing, buddy? Once again, we have a uh, perfect motor, but no charge in the batteries, even though we have multiple perfect or good condition solar panels. I hate that. I hate that so much. We'd have to spend an extensive time here for that to actually gain enough um, power to be useful. the meth lab bleach battery sure we'll take a battery uh, I can get bleach anywhere and sure forgot those things had uh, eh, nah. terrible also whoops Actually, while we're out here, while we're here, let's check the back shed for tools on double item drops. Maybe there'll be tools we can use. Really? You let me climb that obstacle with my mace in my hand? Why do you make me put my other things away when I climb? <laughs> Is there different degrees of climbing? No items. No items. All right. All right. Yeah, this place doesn't have... It has almost nothing in the way of loot, generally. Kitchen is usually nearly completely empty. Which AAA guide? Vehicles. <laughs> yeah, just really, really empty. I don't know why. It's always been this way. Ooh. It's a meat confit. One meat confit. Let's go ahead and have a meat confit. 716 calories. Food place. Four food place food bars. Ooh, yummy. Best seller from food place. Delicious food trademark. It's made with real food stuff. Guaranteed 100% edible. <laughs> Jeez. 
Sure. What's the worst that could happen? 32 gee. That's another pretty good one. Oh, crap. There, I have to pick them up one at a time? Really? Really? That's interesting. Huh. A stick. Yeah, I mean they put uh, they put loot in all of the cabins and rural farmhouses and so on, but this place has been damn near empty forever. Ever since it was uh, put in the game, it's been this way. Uh, I don't care about any of this stuff. And remember, what you're seeing is double the what it normally has. <laughs> double. A speedo. <clears throat> Nail your law firm interview, huh? Uh-oh, lockpick. Hey, oxygen pack. Another lockpick. <laughs> Two lockpicks and the locksmith kit. <laughs> uh, hilariously useless. Hilariously useless. And a ukulele. Um, yeah, we don't need any of this stuff. I have my trusty lockpick already wielded in my hand. It is great at picking locks. Okay, well, there's nothing else here, really. There is a water source out back. There's a pump. Isn't there a pump? I thought there was a pump. Am I misremembering a pump? Well, we got a pond, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, but beyond that, it's really nothing here. <clears throat> Whole lot of nothing. Not even a water heater. Uh, none of that stuff. Did they put a did they put a basement in? They did not. No cellar. No cellar. Yeah, this place is I mean it's quiet. There's no zombies or enemies associated with it. Hey, we have uh we have a Transcoast Logistics nearby. That's kinda handy. What else did we find? Don't care. Uh oh. That Tree farm might have a chainsaw, which I don't care. Another cabin in the woods. But we do have that road route up to the south end of that city, so we're going to come down this way anyway, so I can check that direction and make sure we've got this connection. So we might be able to raid that library if we don't go too much further. All right. <clears throat> Mace is one-handed, so the other things I was trying to climb with were not? Hmm. I guess that's possibly the point. Maybe? <laughs> Game doesn't really do well at uh, designating either or hands. You, you can't really pick right, left, or anything like that. For reasons. Oh yeah, the locksmith kit's a really rare drop. It's just also hilariously useless. Headache on a stick, huh? Uh-oh. Have I not picked up a, uh, a marker yet? Ooh. I have not yet picked up a marker. Oh, never mind. I have picked up a marker. Put it in my inventory. That would have been a little weird if I didn't grab one the first house I went in. An item, mace, it's a label. Headache on a stick. There you go. I am now the proud wielder of headache on a stick. The reason I laugh at the locksmith kit, by the way, is because it breaks very, very quickly and easily. It just breaks and goes away. And you know, lockpicking is stupid. But more hilariously, just because it breaks and it goes away so quickly. All right, what do we want? Mini nuke? Winter clothing? MREs? 
Battle rifle with a fully stocked 500 round drum magazine. That's what I want. We got the Fire Axe Brigade! <laughs> Once again, the Fire Axe drop has occurred. <laughs> I think was did I have more or less in that other run? I don't think the I don't think the lumberjack run was on double double item drop. And I think it had more fire axes in the box. Okay, I'll take one of the fire axes. I'll take a grenade. I will not care about a tear gas grenade. I don't care about that one. Yeah, it says it obscures vision and sand. We'll take it. We'll take it. Why not? Why not? Man, there's the uh, obligatory MREs. No mini nuke? <laughs> More leg guards and a beret. No mini nuke! Okay, get rid of that one for the moment. Um, fire axe. I mean, fire axes are fun. Really good starter weapon for a lot of general characters. Um, that slow swing time you got to get used to, and you got to you got to hang with. And I don't like split damage. I always hate split damage uh, weapons. Just so you know, split damage is bad. It's bad. If you have a choice and you're comparing weapons, go with the one that has the uh, the higher single source damage ratio generally. I mean, you got to consider other things as well. But uh, split damage is resisted independently. So when you strike somebody with this fire axe, their armor gets to handle each damage type separately. So it will block a portion of both damage types. If it was a single damage type, much more damage would actually get through because it would only be blocking the one type with its uh, protection value. But when you got split damage, it's basically getting to double up his armor. So that's why I, I tend away from split damage when I have other choices that I think are commensurate or equivalent in other ways. Then I will generally pick one with a better single damage source than the split damage. Because <clears throat> otherwise it will look at the armor and it'll say, okay, we're going to take eight points away from the bash value and we're going to take eight points away from the cut value and then everything proceeds through. Or if you had a single damage source, only eight would get blocked and everything else would go through. So, all right. Um, but, you know, there's always other things to consider. But yeah, Fire Axe is awesome. If you get a Fire Axe early, it's, it's quite the chopper. It's just a little slow. So be prepared for getting smacked a lot while you're trying to swing it around. <laughs> And it has a pretty bad uh, stamina cost. That's rough. 2.7? What's my, my mace? 1.7? 1.8? I, I forget. What are you, mace? You're 1.9%. So, that's also another big important consideration. You know, somebody said, hey, stamina usage would be really good to know on this, and it magically appeared a little while later. Um, but yeah, that's another thing to consider. Sometimes it's more important how many times you can swing than uh, the other values. All right, let's get moving. Let's get moving. We're going up the road. Double zombies in the TCL. I can't wait to see what that looks like. Hey, hey guys. How, how hard do you think it's going to be to take a melded task force on double toughness? <laughs> double hit point, melded task force. Oh my God. Can't even imagine. <laughs> Walking cane. Uh, don't care about the moonshine still. I'm not going to try to get to that cabin in the woods. Well, it's a little easier with grenades now, if you missed it. After my last adventure with a grenade. Uh, a fine upstanding person in my Discord did some uh, some code investigating, found out that it was silly the way they are uh, or were doing the calculations for uh, direction and distance and so on for throwing and uh, shooting and such. Submitted a uh, correction and it got merged today. Got merged. So it's in. 
Do, do, do. Where'd you go? So that should help. It won't be quite as silly now, all that nonsense about it constantly just immediately smacking the wall directly next to you, even though you weren't aiming anywhere remotely near that wall and falling at your feet. There should be less of that. You still don't want to peek. You still want to avoid peeking if you can. Peeking still makes it way less accurate. But the way it uh, determines the route that the thing is going to take and the propensity for it to hit immediately next to you as opposed to going a little further away and then dropping, those have changed. How much? I haven't tested or anything, but uh, calculations have been adjusted and there should be a lot less of the I'm trying to peek throw and it always hits the wall directly next to me, even if I'm at like two or three or whatever throwing skill. Oh, the dairy farm. Another dairy farm. Uh, that we're definitely going to go look at. Here we go look now. Hmm. Hmm. Let's, uh, body disposal site. That's a little scary. If they start chasing an animal or something, they could come right up to me. I was hoping to go check that cabin out. But I'm a little nervous with this many zombies near. Oh, no. When the pin is pulled, Mr. Grenade is never your friend. So, I mean, don't go overboard with the uh, the idea. It's still going to be something you want to be hyper-cautious about doing. But the, the general rule now is do not peek if you can avoid it. I mean, if you're trying to grenade like a turret, you still want to be really cautious. You should be get away with moving, throwing, and moving again. I believe, as long as you're running... Uh, I don't remember how many actions throwing actually takes. So if you're, if you're trying to deal with a turret or gunfire, then you might still need to peek throw. But in the example I had where I was throwing around that uh, bunker at the robots, there was no gunfire going to be dangerous. I should have just stepped around the corner and then thrown and then back to, or ran back around to avoid the shrapnel. That would have lessened my dispersion by four times. If you're not aware, when you peek throw, you increase your, your dispersion, which is the the variance from the direction you're intending to go, uh, it, it multiplies it by four. So you want to avoid that. That's bad. But there is a clamp on the maximum uh, trajectory variation it'll do. Um, but yeah, just avoid peak throwing if you can if you can manage it. Throw it uh, without the peaking part. And that will improve your aim dramatically. All right, so we definitely do have a connection up here to the uh, the town. That was the first thing I wanted to investigate. Looks like we got more force coming in from the south. Another lava rift. We're seeing more of those lately. I don't know why. I, I, I guess I've been doing a lot of driving lately. All right, so we got another road over there. We still haven't been uh, haven't been blocked from movement, huh? Another body disposal wedged in between this and the city and a gas station. Public washroom. All right, not useful. Uh, I think I'm going to head back the other direction now. We got a, we got good pathing. We've got good opportunities up here. So now that we know that, I think I'm going to go ahead and turn around, head back. Want to go check out the dairy farm. We still need to stay away from the cities for now. Keep our distance. So we get a little bit more capability. Not especially till I get some healing done. Actually, let's see what's at the end of this. If it is the end point of a road, it might be the end of my mapping. Ah, another one of these. Might be a vehicle. We'll go check. Zombies, zombies. No vehicles. No 
Okay, no vehicles means it's not useful to me. Double and hill. Dr. Death number four. Although one of them was just a reboot, really. I went ahead and renamed it or cycled the number, but it was really a things are broken, we have to start over kind of situation. <laughs> Not much so, so much as a uh, Vorm has gotten himself killed. Ooh, slime pit right next to the, uh, the cow farm. All right, zombie cows, regular cows, lots of slimes. Whoops, I'm about to slam into a slime. Is the mooing of the cows drawing the slimes up here? Apparently. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we have quad. No controls! Oh, man! <laughs> they broke the controls in my quad. You bastards. How's the van looking? No seat, no controls. So it's going to have gasoline. Lots and lots of gasoline. Forget where they are at. Right there. That one's draining. Probably be empty by the time we would get to it. So there's going to be 48 liters of gasoline in that. But we'd have to get the slimes and the cows out of the area in order for me to take advantage of it. Wow, this is about to be really bad. Get out of the way, stupid slimes. <laughs> I'm trying not to let them in the vehicle with me either. I'm not sure. Are the, are the cows and the slimes coexist, coexisting? It sure seems like the cows and the slimes are coexisting. What are they chasing up north? Hmm. Weird. Let's do this and watch all the slimes go berserk. <clears throat> <laughs> Watch the red dots on the mini-map as I pulse time. Oh, we're moving. They're all coming right at me. They're all super hypersensitive about noise. I actually want them to go away from the farm. I'm not sure, I'm not sure what those cows up there are going after. <laughs> as they all race straight up to where the last... Horn honking occurred. Uh oh. Now they're coming after me. It's just funny to watch the slimes migrate to the last sound source. All right, what do you think? Can I manage to get this here? I wonder if I can siphon while straddling the fence. That would be interesting. Oh, I do have it all. Unfortunately, we can only carry one full tank. Uh-oh, here they are. Good thing the hole in the vehicle's on the other side. All right, we're at 60 liters. That's uh, all I can do right now. Oh no, not a red M. 
Uh, whoops. Uh, crap, do I do this or not? Oh, I siphoned out of the wrong one. Siphon. Actually, Bill, you. Siphon, you. Into the other tank. Just don't wrap around to the front of the vehicle, slimes. That's all I care about. All right. So we've just transferred from the draining tank up into this one in case I have to come back for more. Oops. <laughs> My bad. Um, I wouldn't mind checking in the house here. The slimes are going to keep coming over to me as long as the engine's running, though. Which one do we have? Ours for a little while. I don't remember which one's which. One of these days I'll track down a list of all of the uh, grave signs and which ones have the katanas. Well, the choice of whether I let go of controls or stop driving is a determination I make based on the condition of the vehicle. Sometimes I can't let it stop because the battery's zeroed out, and if I turn it off, then I'll never get it started again. It could be noise-related. Like right now, if I leave it running, I know the slimes are going to come after it because it's making the noise. Uh, there's just a number of things that really determine whether I bother. Also, the engine condition, if I'm going to have to restart it, try to start it a dozen times to get it going again. If it's perfect condition, much better. I can do either or. But when it's heavily damaged, and I know if I get in trouble, I gotta get started right away. I'll tend to leave it running just so I don't have to try to restart it when it's a damaged engine. So, you know, there are some reasons why I do it certain ways and others. Um, yeah, I really would like to... I think the slimes are going to hang out near the fence where I made the noise breaking the fence. Problem is, I have to make more noise to get into this place because I don't have a crowbar yet. Yeah, let's get in and out quick if we can. I'll take the tablet PC. I'll take the half liter jar. Glass bottles. Uh oh, slime spotted out south, I hope. Yeah, it has to be out south. Hey, we got the torch. So yeah, there are occasionally methods to my madness. Military Audi post. So uh, we're not prepared to go after a military outpost. I don't have enough grenades. I don't have any bullets and guns, all that kind of stuff. Grenades are what make it the easiest to go after. But we'll have to pass on a military outpost. We have a city near it though, huh? Hmm. So, TCL, this one is the another farm. It's going to have ants near it, probably. Oh, is that the start of a mega farm? I think that's the edge of a mega farm, based on these. I have a grenade, yes. 
<clears throat> I could get into one of the rooms. <laughs> I have to. I'd have to know ahead of time which one I was going after. There's only one room I really care about that has most of the the actual military gear, but I don't have the uh, the sights memorized to know which room to go after. But basically, you just walk up, pop the door, throw a grenade in, slam the door, and if it's the right room, then you can go in and get all the gear. The other rooms are eh. There's just one primary armory room. All right, which which of these do we have? Oops. Ooh, a couple combat knives. Don't usually see combat knives at the drug site. Yeah, ever since they took the turrets away from the outer edge of these things. They've also uh, gone through and cycled out most of the really cool loot. You can still get some good stuff there, I guess, but nowhere near what it used to have. And inside are uh, our bad robots. Oh, I don't want to mess with them. Hey, it's my good buddy, Giant Stag Beetle. Maybe I could get the giant stag beetle to go over and open up that uh, that spot for me. wonder if he'd go after the robots. Eh, the robots would shoot him to death. I don't want to do that to my bestest buddy. So, nothing in this town that I care about. A pool is terrible. Don't care about the apple orchard. The road does continue out the far side. And we need to scan for a better vehicle. Dissolute devourers. We're no longer on the desperate hunt for guzzoline, so we'll just scoot on through, I guess. We'll get an opportunity to loot something. We'll try. Yeah, way too many zombies over here. Uh, yeah, FireX does have the prying. Getting the map would be nice. How many guys am I going to have to juke away from the map location? Uh-oh. <laughs> not more, not more rock-throwing ferals. glass just break probably here but somebody here broke that so let's hope it's not somebody I really really don't want to deal with ah I'm overweight again <laughs> oh crap well that didn't help And there's stuff between me and there, and I got grabbed. No. Nope. Eh, of course, something falls to the ground. My fire axe. Ugh. Damn it. Here comes the pain. And this child zombie is lining up exactly where I don't want it to be. Exactly where I don't want it to be. Is this going to step into the frame, uh, into the vehicle with me? Oh, this is so annoying. 
This is really bad now. Alright, I have screwed up. Oh boy. They are gonna get in the vehicle with me no matter what I do. And... 